Oilers hosting the Sharks, and the Sharks are plus 375 on the money line. The Oilers are minus 480 or minus 500. The over-under is seven goals. The Sharks getting a goal and a half are plus 115, and the Sharks getting two and a half goals are minus 105, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Or if they lose by two, if you bet them the other way, getting two and a half goals, you would win. Now, the Oilers laying a goal and a half are minus 184, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And if you bet them laying two and a half goals, meaning they have to win by three, they are minus 105. So you're not even getting positive money betting them to win this game by three goals. Now, head-to-head, the road team is 6-4. and The Oilers are on a seven-game winning streak against the Sharks. The Oilers are 8-2 and against the Sharks in their last 10. The favorite has won the last seven games that they've played against each other. The favorite is 8-2 and on the money line. The uh, team getting or laying goals is 5-5 and in their last 10 games. The un the over is hit in their last three. The over is eight and two in their last ten. There's been three one goal games in their last ten meetings, and the over seven specifically is five, two, and three. The last game they played, the Oilers won six to one. The game before that, they beat the Sharks five to four in overtime. The game before that, they beat them seven to one, and the game before that, they beat them five to four in overtime. So it seems like we have a pattern here of a blowout, a close game, a blowout, a close game, and they did have two close games in a row. Now in their last handful of games overall. Ah! The last game they played, the Sharks had eight goals, seven goals, eight goals, and seven goals. That's their last four games. They've scored two, one, two, and three. Now for the Oilers, we've had three goals, seven goals, four goals, and four goals. For some reason, they figured out how to play defense and have goaltending in their last week or so of the season. And I'm being a little bit dramatic, but they scored three goals, three goals, six goals, and two goals. I'm going to take the Oilers with the money line. I'm going to take the Oilers laying the goals both a a goal and a half and two and a half goals and i'm gonna go under this game these are just my picks if you disagree please go with your gut and please bet responsibly